Hello. This video introduces you to the Excel spreadsheets you're going to be using throughout the semester to do the exercises in this class. All of the spreadsheets that you get as exercises are going to have the same basic format of instructions, uh, the different buttons that you can push to start the exercises, and how it's saved. So I just want to give you a quick layout of how these spreadsheets work. The first thing that you're going to notice is that you always get a pop-up box that asks you for your student ID. This is the first thing you need to put in. So I'm just going to make up a student ID, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Make sure you put yours in. And also you're going to get a pop-up box that asks you to verify that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to say that's correct. And now I'm going to type my name. All right, that's the first step. You always want to enter your student ID and your name. This is how we're going to grade the assignments on the back end. So make sure that those are right so you're going to get credit for your work at the end of the day. All right, so now what you see is you're on the Instructions tab, and you only have access to one other tab, the Results tab. So the results are empty because you haven't done the spreadsheet yet. The instructions lay out exactly kind of how the spreadsheet works. Uh, essentially, what you're going to do is hit the Start button whenever you want to start the exercises. When you do that, it's going to reveal, it'll ask you a couple of questions, give you a little guidance, and then reveal the first exercise. So in this case, you're keyboarding around this tab, going from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, etc. Uh, and so now you start working. And as you work through and you finish one tab, it'll reveal the next tab. However, you might want to just you know, see all the tabs before you get started. If that's the case, you can go back to the instructions and hit reset to reset the game and then unlock to open up all the spreadsheets. So now we can see keyboard exercises three, four, back in two and one, and you can see everything that's part of the spreadsheet. However, to actually get a grade on the assignment and complete it, you have to go through, hit the start button and complete the exercises sequentially. Once you've done that, you're going to get a result that'll show you your best time. All right, so when we go to the result tab, it'll show you your current result, as well as your history of results down below, and then your best result. You'll only be ever graded on your best results, so you can keep practicing the spreadsheet to get faster and faster uh, and get more proficient with using Excel. So once you're ready and you're pleased with your best result, what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and click the Save button. And you're going to notice that you don't pick a save name at all. Instead, it's going to automatically save the worksheet, in this case, as keyboarding exercise underscore your student ID. Again, this is to help us track uh, whose assignments are whose. So it's very important that you just use the natural save process built into the spreadsheet. You say OK. You can submit it on D2L. And there you're done.